Okay, so we're going to be looking at the shark circulatory system today. So we're going to start pretty much here up at the heart and we're going to do the arteries. So if we look at the shark's heart, uh, the first area in the heart would be this kind of deflated chamber in the back, which is the atrium, which then pumps blood into this big chamber that's muscular, which is the ventricle. And then there's all these tiny little arteries on the heart itself, which are the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries feed the heart. Then there's this area here where the first blood vessel out of the heart, which is called conus arteriosus. And then the conus arteriosus narrows into this single white blood vessel running on the belly of the shark. So this is the ventral aorta. Ventral aorta will then go branching to the sides. See if we can expose some of these a little bit better. So we get these branches off to the side from the ventral aorta. Looks like the ones up here are a little bit prettier. So again, up here you can see that it kind of goes into a V shape and you can see it shooting off to the sides. So these side arteries are called afferent branchial arteries, which pretty much will bring blood to these beautiful frilly gills here in order to get a bunch of oxygen. Then as the blood comes out of the gills, we've opened up the mouth cavity here and out of the gills you can see are all these arteries that are pink here that make a fan-like appearance. And all of these are known as the efferent branchial arteries. There are also these two pink arteries that go anterior up and they dive into the pretty much the roof of the mouth here going towards the brain and the head. And these are known as the carotid arteries. If we go down further, as soon as all the efferent branchial arteries unite, we are now on the dorsal aorta. Dorsal aorta will have a first branch that comes kind of like a nice U here. And this nice U artery is again called the subclavian artery. Then there is a branch here. This one actually has been severed, but there should have been a big pink branch that comes up right here into the coelom. And its first branch off of it would be going these little pink ones to this male gonad. So this would be all these little pink ones feeding the gonad itself would be the gonadic arteries. Now if I rotate and I separate out my livers, let me zoom out. If I zoom out, what we're going to see is that the arteries come into like a four-way crossroads. And so coming up from underneath the liver is that one that I said had severed, which is the celiac artery. And the celiac artery will branch in three directions at this crossroads. So the three directions that you will find from the celiac artery is you will find one pink branch, which is right here. And this pink branch goes up to the liver. So it is called the hepatic artery. You have a pink branch that dives down over here to the J-shaped stomach which is right there, J-shaped stomach. And this pink one that comes onto the stomach is the gastric artery. And the pink one that goes straight right here, and it's gonna dive under the pancreas and end up on the top of this structure right here, which is the intestine. So this pink one right here, which again was the straight pathway from this four-way crossroads, is the anterior intestinal artery. All right. So let's go back to our dorsal aorta and see where our next branch is. So the dorsal aorta continues and continues. If I pick up the kidneys itself in the back wall, you'll see that there's all these little tiny pink ones underneath it. They all have a name. They are called the renal arteries. If I put the kidney back down and we bring the shark more to the posterior region here. And what we see is there is now another branch of arteries. The first one comes out and it goes backwards to this organ, which is the intestine. And it's on the lower half of the intestine, so this one is called the posterior intestinal artery. This artery, which shoots forward and up to this triangular shaped organ, which is the spleen, this one that comes up and shoots up is called the gastrosplenic. So if I rotate my spleen here upside down, you can see the gastrosplenic goes right up into it. 
If I kind of fillet it open a little bit, what I'm hoping you can see is that it ends up branching. And one of the pink branches dives into the spleen itself. So if the branch is diving into the spleen, it's called the splenic artery. This other pink one that is right here at the bottom of the spleen that actually goes up to the bottom of the stomach. This is the J-shaped stomach here. And this pink one that goes up and feeds the bottom of the stomach is actually known as the gastric artery once again. So gastrosplenic will become either splenic or branch up to the bottom of the stomach to the gastric. Okay, going down further, I'm gonna rotate the organs. We have the rectal gland here. If I move the rectal gland out to the side, you'll see that there's a beautiful pink artery here that feeds it, and this is called the posterior mesenteric artery. Going down even further, we go to the body wall here. Right on the side of the body wall is a pink artery that's going up to feed the pelvic fins, and this is known as the iliac artery. And there are two iliac arteries, one on this side. And we'll see if I can expose it here. And there it is on the other wall right there. So there are two iliac arteries, one on each side. And then the last artery is if you actually go and you look at the slice of the tail itself, there's an artery that feeds the caudal tail. And so when you look at the slice, if you have a slice through the shark's tail, there's this cartilage that a lot of the nerve cord and vessels are housed in. And when we look at it, this is the more ventral side of the shark's tail, and this side would actually be the more dorsal side. And right here, there are two holes right next to each other, two holes. And the hole that is actually not the first one, which is most ventral, but the one right underneath it is the caudal artery, which feeds blood to the tail. And that's it for, uh, for arteries.